Hey Mark, this is Steven from CMP Auto here in Calgary, and this right here is our 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4 with the 62 V8. First things first, thank you for taking my phone call. I think this is an excellent choice. It's got a little over 12,000 kilometers on it. The depreciation is already gone. The first owner already ate that up. It has a 6.2 liter V8, as I mentioned, with a 10 speed automatic, 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. So it goes. But it also has a very nice blend of fuel economy as well. So what I'll do in this video, I'll give you a brief walk around tour. We'll go over some key features and hopefully you like it and we can invite you in for a test drive. So let's get started up front. So up front you have full LED lighting that includes daytime running lamps, projector LED headlamps, LED turn signals and LED fog lamps down below. Also below, a few things uh, that are noteworthy. You have a block heater. Your cord goes right there instead of under the hood like a lot of other vehicles. Instead of getting your clothes all dirty in the winter and trying to search into your engine bay, nice and easy right there. Beside that, you have red recovery hooks exclusive to the AT4 trim. You also have parking sensors along the front bumper. Going up a little bit, you have this dark chrome grill, okay, also exclusive to the AT4. Gives it a little bit of a, a more um, upscale but rugged appearance. Now in that grill below the logo, you're gonna find a front camera. That camera works conjunction with cameras on each side mirror, as well as a camera on the back end, giving you a 360 view, okay? Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these sides. So you have Goodyear Wranglers, so all-terrain tires, fitted onto 20-inch alloy wheels. You have mud flaps both front and rear. You have side steps as well. You have your 6.2 liter V8 badge right there. Side mirrors have integrated LED turn signals. They have cameras below. You have a puddle lamp as well. These mirrors are power folding. They're heated, they're auto dimming, and you have blind spot monitoring as well. Moving on to the doors. You have keyless proximity entry, a system that allows you to keep your key in your pocket at all times. I can simply lock the vehicle like this or unlock it the same way. This of course is a crew cab configuration. Short box. Now back here, one feature I really enjoy on the GM trucks is the utility factor. So you have integrated steps on each corner of the rear bumper. You have the GM multi-pro tailgate which is a system that allows you to do this. So first things first, it opens up just like a normal tailgate. It's also dampened, so it doesn't just flop down, which is nice. So you have that option, standard stuff. And when you open this up, just like your truck, Line X already in here, or box liner, I should say, uh, you have integrated LED lighting on both sides. You have a power port right there, three prong. You have tie downs, you have an AT4 badge, right there and you also have a handle so let's say you do use a step to get up into the bed you can grab onto that you can grab onto this which is rounded off so it doesn't pinch your hand but also let's fold this back down getting back to the tailgates you can do this so press this press this that folds down open this up and now you have a step to get on in you grab this and it's very easy to get in and out. Back here as well, you have a backup camera, LED lighting that includes brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, and then down here you have a few things. Class 4 hitch receiver, your 4 and 7 pin harness is right there for your electrical. You have a spare tire down below you have dual exhaust tips you have parking sensors and of course you have the AT4 batch also exclusive to the AT4 trim you have the jet black leather interior with the Kalahari uh, trim so this beige kind of caramel colored um, uh, accents on the seats, the pipe, the uh, sorry, the stitching 
on the seats as well and door panels. They have carbon fiber look, trim, gloss black. It's really sharp. Now, over here you have a power sliding rear window. It has rear defrost as well. In here, center armrest with cup holders. Over here, hidden storage. Same thing on that side. These seats, of course, the 60-40 split bench folds up. You can do the same on the other side. You have storage under here. And when you fold up both sides, keep in mind, you have a flat floor. So you can, you can sleep back here uh, if you put some blankets or even just like that. Uh, you can, if you have a dog, it's perfect. They don't have a hump to straddle. Let's say you have a toolbox or maybe you went to Ikea, maybe even right now when you're doing your, your major move from Kamloops, this will come in handy. You're not gonna have things teeter-tottering over what is usually here, which is a drive-by hump. Also, to note, I, I noticed that, uh, or you mentioned that you have kids. When they're back here, you have heated seats, you have a USB-A, USB-C, or sorry, USB-C, USB-A, rear AC vents, cup holders here. In addition to these, you have handles to get in and out and LED lighting up above your head. Up front, memory seats, AT4 badge, power folding mirrors, as I mentioned, Bose audio, you have power driver seat and passenger seat. Again, perforated leather seating, AT4 badge right there, power sunroof above your head. And let's hop on in. So straight ahead, I have a digital gauge cluster, which offers a ton of customization, uh, both in uh, what's displayed as well as how it's displayed. And you have a scroll button here that you can go through different information. I'll leave that. Um, above that, you have a cut on the dash right there. This is equipped with what's called forward collision warning and emergency braking. So behind this bulkhead, there is a sensor, a radar, if you're approaching an object rather quickly and the vehicle senses that you're not slowing down, it will uh, warn you by projecting a red light through this uh, cutout onto the windshield to say brake. And if you still don't brake, it will attempt to brake for you. You can adjust the sensitivity using this gap adjust. And this same button also works for the adaptive cruise control as well. Uh, Behind the steering wheel, which is leather wrapped and heated, you have paddle shifters on each side. That allows you to manually um, manually shift the 10 speed automatic if you wish. Heated steering wheel, as I mentioned, and then you have controls for your Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So this would work for uh, Google, uh, sorry, Google Assistant or Siri. Uh, down to the left of the steering wheel, you have an electronic parking brake. You have your four wheel drive selector. So you have your normal four high, two high and four low modes, as you'd expect on a pickup truck. Uh, then you have automatic mode, which is kind of a set and forget it all wheel drive system. You have driving modes for the scroll wheel. You have sport mode, off-road, as well as normal. And then to the right of that, you have your headlight switch. Of course, this comes equipped with automatic headlights, but if you wish to override it, you can do so right here. You also have a button for your bed lighting, for your puddle lamps, which are underneath the uh, side mirrors. And then you have your fog lamps as well automatic high beams and then to the right of here you have your push button start you have your massive infotainment screen it is horizontal in this i like that you have a physical volume knob and a physical home button this is equipped with sirius xm radio amazon alexa wireless apple carplay wireless android auto wi-fi hotspot integrated navigation and because it is such a large screen the camera looks beautiful on there very crisp the guidance lines move as I turn the steering wheel to help guide you into a spot and as you see you have your overhead right here you have different views that's your front view your back view you can look that's the back that's the bed so if you're lining up with a trailer you can do so if you're lining up and, and want to know how close you are to a front curb you can do so Speaking of curbs, this is great for parallel parking. And that as well. That's gonna be your hitch. And then a trailer guidance. So that's lined up right with your hitch as well. We'll exit here. 
So below that, you have dual zone climate control. This is equipped with heated seats as you expect. Now the heated seats on this truck, you can adjust it to have just the back heated up or the back and bottom, three levels, high, medium, low. You also have cooled seats, which is very handy on a day like today. Dual zone climate control. And then below that, you have a button here for your lane keep assist. This is defeatable if you wish, but the whole system, the whole idea behind that system is if you are veering out of your lane without a turn signal on, it will kind of nudge you back. Lane keep assist. Uh, parking sensors. If you're not a fan of the front and rear parking sensors, you can simply defeat them. And there you are. And an auto stop and start. This is a function that's found on, I think, all new vehicles at this point. Uh, it is mandated by government. Uh, it is a system that shuts off, shuts off the engine if you come to a stop at a stop sign or stop lights. Uh, if the vehicle senses that it's okay to do so, for instance, if you don't have the AC pumped as it is right now, uh, it will turn off the engine with your foot applied to the brake. As soon as you remove your foot from the brake, the vehicle senses that you want to get going again, it will turn on the engine just like that and you're off. Uh, but if you're not a fan of that system, you can simply turn it off. You have a power bed, which is found on here as well as on the remote. Speaking of the remote, yes, this does have remote start as well. Stability control, which is defeatable. And then you have hill descent control. Being an AT4, I should probably go back a little bit. So AT4, you get uh, Rancho model tube shocks. Okay, it sits a little bit higher, I believe an inch and a half or two inches uh, factory lift. You get the all-terrain tires, you get skip plates underneath, and then you get hill descent control as well, which is a system that allows you to maintain control if you're going down a slippery slope. There you are, because this is the rugged trim level of the 1500. Uh, you have a USB-A, USB-C, cup holders here, slot for your phone, trailer brake controller if you choose to, uh, to tow in the future, and then you also have a wireless charger located right here. Your shifter, very simple. Park button right there, up, down. Yeah, wide shape like this, it's great for a armrest. Now in here, you have another USB-C, USB-A. This pulls out, got plenty of storage in there. Dual glove boxes, one there, one there. And I think that pretty much sums it up. Again, beautiful truck, oh, above my head, I have the Homelink garage door opener. So if you have a power garage at home, you can set it up to uh, be connected to that. You also have your controls for your power sunroof, your rear sliding window, your OnStar as well. Again, all the lighting in here is gonna be LED. And I think that sums it up. Anyway, Mark, I appreciate you watching this video. Let me know your thoughts and we'll chat soon. Take care.